let's learn about what is an iterated integral okay we know partial differentiation right if i have let's say f of x comma y equal to x square y plus y x plus y then the partial differentiation of this guy with respect to x is going to be what it is going to be 2x when we do partial differentiation we assume y is a constant right so my partial differentiation is going to be 2x into y plus y plus 0 okay so it's going to be this now to get back this thing from this thing what I can do is I can integrate this guy assuming y as a constant okay just like I differentiated this thing assuming y as a constant I can integrate this thing assuming y as a constant what do I get I get 2x square by 2y plus y into x plus a constant okay since I am assuming y as a constant this constant could be a function of y okay so you would see that this is equal to x square y plus x y plus a function of y you would see that we have partially recovered our original function okay x square y plus x y plus y x square y plus x y plus a function of y we cannot recover that function of y but we have partially recovered this function okay so we can integrate a function assuming one variable as constant okay so taking this concept forward what we can do is we can write a integral of an integral okay so if you look at this let's suppose you have x of x comma y dx dy limits from a function of y to another function of y limits from a to b then a integral of integral of this type is called as an iterated integral and over here you calculate this inner integral assuming y as constant okay so look when you are going to solve this you are going to get a some function of x comma y right now when you are going to replace x with f2y and f1y essentially what you are going to get you are going to get f of replace x with f2y which is f2y comma y minus f of f1y comma y okay so this is the result of integration of this inner integral okay and now you can integrate the outer integral which is going to be a to b this thing which is f f 2 y comma y minus f f 1 y comma y what is this this is dy okay so now you are going to integrate with respect to y okay essentially this is going to have only y terms right because you have y everywhere so you are going to get a function of y and now you can integrate with respect to y okay let's take an example I need to solve this iterated integral okay so I have over here some function of x and y dx dy okay just understand that whatever you have as the inner